Poverty, the word conjures up images like these from the 1950s. Bad housing, overcrowding and squalor. And that's what it was then. So what about now in the 21st century? People are a lot better off, but there's still relative poverty. Those at the bottom end of the income scale as the nation's wealth grows. Experts say the poverty line is 60% of average income adjusted for household size. That amounts to £189 a week for a single parent with one child, £217 for a couple with no children and £332 a week for a couple with two children. Income on or below that means the household is said to be living in poverty. So who are they? People like Barbara from Nottingham, a single mother with three children. She lives on benefits and can afford the basics but nothing else, like celebrating her son's birthday tomorrow. I can't give him a party because it's, it's just not in the budget. Um, I can't spend the amount I would like to spend on him on a present because it, it's, just, it's just not possible. Constance is living on the poverty line in a rented flat in London with her three children. She works but struggles to get by on her pay, even after help from tax credits. Prices are higher than what I'm earning. And um, at the end of the month, I have nothing left. And with the surprise increase in overall poverty levels as well as child poverty, campaigners have voiced their disappointment. I think it's a moral outrage. We are the fourth richest country in the world and we are letting children languish in poverty and we know that their future are at risk. Poverty levels have fallen quite a lot since Labour came to power, but the government has set itself a very ambitious target, reducing the number of youngsters living in poverty from that latest 2.8 million figure to 1.7 million by 2010. The latest annual increase is going to make the task that much harder. The Chancellor today highlighted programmes designed to help parents get back into work. The opposition said government anti-poverty policy was in tatters and it was time for a fresh approach. Hugh Pym, BBC News.